extreme thinking. It's learning how to trust what is in your present place of right now. Now, to get there requires some practice. I do one sheet of paper every day, just 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Write about whatever is moving through your moment of right now without any judgment. Stream thinking sharpens your skills as a listener, as a communicator, and as an activator. Learning how to trust what is right now. This is stream thinking. Today, we're reading from June 11th, 2023. For some strange reason, my daily writing has been called to Google. The goal is to research why old guys get grumpy. All fingers point to irritable male syndrome. Low testosterone can be a big factor as well. The system is robbed of something the body has lived on for 50 years. Going through an identity shift creates grumpy old men. It's completely natural for older men to enter storms caused by a lack of workplace environments. Now, experts say the daily goal should be to let go of your lost youth. The mission is to create new identities, which might be the reason why I find joy in working at a grocery store. It has nothing to do with what I've done for the past four decades in broadcasting. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass being a used to be. But at least I have enough room in my heart to properly bag for grocery store guests. It was a game changer to go into that grocery store because as a radio person... We envision you. We don't physically see you. We don't hear you. So we have to pretend that you're physically there. So in September of 2020, right smack dab in the middle of the COVID lockdown, I said, I got to be with people. I could have come into the studio and I did, but I couldn't envision people in the way that we have a connectedness with physical bodies, minds and souls. Coming into this studio during that time period was very difficult because I I lost my way. I forgot what you look like, what you sound like. And even though I was trying to envision it, I lost my way. So I took up that job at a grocery store. And there I was, and there I still am, physically in front of you. So I totally get it when they say that a workplace environment change can affect a man to become grumpy. Now, did I become grumpy? I don't think so. That's been my mission. Do not become your father. My father was a grumpy man. And because I'm aware of it and I'm mindful of my present place of now, I'm doing everything at 61 not to be that grumpy old man. Sure, I have a moment here and a moment there, but it's not a constant grinding of a grown man breaking down. So what I did in September of 2020... In my writing, in my defrag journals, every place that I wrote, it was, I want to be with people. I need to be with people. And where I was put wasn't in a church, but rather a different kind of community where everybody comes from the homelessness to the rich, to the poor, to the middle class, if there still is one, men, women, children, all ages in this community, learning and listening. So if, if we're kind of talking to you right now, maybe you're into that grumpy zone, man or woman, maybe what you need to do is sit down and ask yourself, what are the top 10 things that you love about your life? The one that you have lived and the one that you are presently living. I'm not asking you to go back to your childhood because that's what the experts say. Do not do. Let that person in your past, that child, let them go and live in this present place of now. Challenge yourself to find out what your top 10 favorite things are in life and figure out what the connection is. And when you do, that's where you belong. I'm Arrow, and that's Stream Thinking.